Hey friend, this is Harjit here. As part of today's session, we will discuss about introduction to Hadoop. Let us start with this. Okay, so we want to understand what exactly is Hadoop. In big data world, uh, there are many tools which can be used to process huge amount of data. Greenplum is one of them. Uh, Spark is one of them. People include Teradata also in big data, you know, uh, processing technologies. So Hadoop is one of the most famous tools uh, that uh, you know has taken the industry by storm, and you know because of the cost being so low, it being a open source technology, you know every big company supporting it, it has uh, you know become a default tool of choice for all the big companies when they are you know working on or when they are starting to work on Hadoop. So uh, Hadoop is a tool. Uh, which is used to process huge amount of data. It was developed by it was developed by Doug Cutting. Um, you know, Doug Cutting was working on search engines at that time, so he was working on Lucene and Nudge. So those are also two open source projects. If you're not aware, they are under Apache, and they were developed by Doug Cutting. Uh, Hadoop is also developed by Doug Cutting. Uh, so uh, Doug Cutting wanted a scalable file storage system and uh, a multi-machine data processing engine to build a search engine to build a crawler and a search engine so he was looking for inspiration that where what is google trying to do what is uh, microsoft trying to do how they are solving this uh, problem of handling huge amount of data at that scale so uh, he came across two papers from google First one was uh, Google File System, and the next one was uh, MapReduce. So Google File System talks about that how you can use, you know, multiple machines, a huge number of machines to store very big files or to to store huge amount of data. So Google File System talks about that. MapReduce is a technique which talks about that how you can write programs, how you can write uh, code which will run on multiple machines and which will actually use Google file system to process that huge amount of data and give you results. So as a developer, I should not be bothered about nitty gritties of how to connect to a machine, on which machine the data is sitting on, and uh, you know all the nitty gritties of uh, uh, you know, building a multi-machine uh, program or software. So I should not be, as a developer, I should not be bothered about that. I should be just using MapReduce paradigm to write my code. And uh, the framework should take care of uh, processing the huge amount of data. So there are other technologies which have uh, been used with Hadoop and now are part of uh, Hadoop ecosystem. They are Hive, Pig, Impala, HBase. We'll discuss in you know uh, in in future slides and future sections that uh, what exactly these tools are. Let us go ahead. Okay, so Hadoop is completely built on the philosophy of master-slave architecture. So Hadoop has two components. Uh, you know, one is uh, HDFS, which is Hadoop Distributed File System. HDFS is inspired from Google File System. And the next uh, next one is uh, MapReduce framework. So MapReduce framework is inspired from the Google's MapReduce uh, framework paper. So you know, as you must have understood, that HDFS is used to store the huge amount of data, and uh, MapReduce is used to process huge amount of data. So both these systems are designed using master-slave architecture. Let us first understand, as part of this slide, that what exactly is master-slave architecture. And then we will apply this architecture on HDFS and MapReduce. OK, in master-slave architecture, you will have one machine, which is master. And there will be a lot of other machines, which will be slaves. So as shown in the diagram, there is one master, and we have three slaves. Now, what is the role of the master? What is the task of the master? So master is like, uh, you know, if you see a normal organizational hierarchy, master is like a manager. So what it does is that uh, it monitors that, uh, you know, his people who are assigned to him, are they working or not? 
and what are the, what are the things that they are working on and it if nobody is working it assigns works to them so the role of the master is to monitor that who is working who is not working and to assign work to people who do ha don't have work now what is the role of slave role of slave is like uh, a normal you know low level executive uh, low level employee in an organization he does the actual work so actual work in the system like if i'm a developer and we have a software uh, to develop so i i'll be the, i'll be doing coding so that's the actual work right so a slave is the one who is doing the actual work and he also reports to master in a regular interval of time that okay i'm working on this thing uh, and uh, i have finished this much of work so slave reports to the master and slave does the actual work so that's uh, that's about the master slave architecture if you have not understood it please you know rewind this video and understand what i'm trying to say uh, because it will help you understand the future concept in a easier way okay so hadoop has two components which we have discussed earlier uh, one is a storage component other is the processing component storage is handled by hdfs so the full form of hdfs is hadoop distributed file system and processing of that data which is sitting in hdfs is done by a framework named mapreduce framework both of these frameworks follow master slave architecture that we have discussed in previous slide okay so the whole hadoop framework was developed using java so uh, you know if once we go into mapreduce and uh, you know start coding uh, mapreduce jobs you will realize that it for writing a very small piece of code it takes a lot of time you know so uh, companies like facebook and yahoo they wanted to use hadoop for their data processing so they wanted to they also wanted to make using hadoop very easy and very fast so uh, so that you know anybody can use it uh, and uh, they can quickly uh, instead of write you know they wanted to eliminate basically the boilerplate code the code which was uh, repeatedly written in every mapreduce job so uh, they uh, facebook developed something called hive so what happens in hive is that you write a simple sql query and hive automatically generates java code out of that and that java code is mapreduce code so and it submits to hadoop framework and processes your data and gives you back the results so as a user of the system as a user of the hadoop i'm writing only sql code which is like select star from this table i don't need to write a full fledged 20 line 30 line 50 line 100 line mapreduce code i just write a single line select star from this table where this group by this and all that stuff so similarly pig pig was developed by yahoo so yahoo had you know developed a new language itself so it's a scripting language pig we call it so it does the same work which what hive does it generates mapreduce code from the script that you write and submits it to hadoop gets the result processed for you and gives back to you the results now there are other tools uh, which are there in hadoop ecosystem hbase is one it's a no sql database impala is another query engine on top of hdfs and sentry uh, is for role management so don't worry about these tools we will as we move ahead i'll explain these tools in uh, in detail uh, so as part of this video we i just wanted to introduce hadoop so that's what i have done so if you have not understood uh, you know a lot of other things which i have said as part of this uh, video please revisit this video watch it again uh, i would just like to summarize what we have discussed as part of this video we have discussed what is hadoop hadoop was developed by duck cutting it was inspired from google's uh, google file system and mapreduce framework so hadoop has two components one is for storage and one is for processing for storage we are using hadoop distributed file system and for processing we are using mapreduce framework and there are other 
Hadoop ecosystem projects like Hive, Pig, and HBase, Impala, and Sentry, which we will discuss in further uh, further videos. So, and these uh, HDFS and MapReduce they use master-slave architecture, which we discussed in third slide. Thank you.